Hello Internet, you know what time it is, it's time for another video and today I'm going to be showcasing you a simple JavaScript based function that will allow you to filter a table within HTML. Now this solution will work with um, plain, H it, essentially the way it interfaces is through a HTML table. So let's just get through the solution and I can explain everything on what you can use it for and what you can't use it for. So in this case, I've just got a simple static page with some HTML table elements. So if we go to our code editor, which is going to be brackets, we've got a simple table, nothing special, just just simple table, we've got all these different rows, tables and stuff like that. And we've got a table and we've got an ID for that for the table. And we've also got some simple CSS, but you, this tutorial does not require any CSS whatsoever. So you might be wondering, how are we going to allow the web page to have a searchability? So what we want is we want to effectively type in something at the top of this table and we want to effectively filter it. So we just want to remove all the results that aren't relevant. So what we're going to do is we're going to effectively, the first thing we need to do is actually open up a script. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very bottom of here. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see. So. We're going to go to the bottom, so just near the bottom of the body. And we're going to type in script, script, type, and we're just going to do application JavaScript. And obviously, you could put this in a you know external JavaScript, um, you know, a, um, you know, a outside JavaScript file, but we're just going to keep it inside HTML for now. So we're going to go here, and so what we're going to do is we're going to open up a function, and we're just going to call it. I just call it table search. There's probably better you know function names, but let's just call it table search for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to declare a couple of variables before we begin. So that we're going to declare let input filter table table row. Now oh, wait, tr and then td and then i and then text value. And we've got all these variables and these are all the variables that we will need to do this function. So one of the things we need to do before we can even start, you know, Conan's function is we actually need to add a input to this, into this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a simple input. So we just go input type and we're going to do it as a text because that's the, it's what's going to be entered in. And we're just going to make an ID and we're just going to call it my input for now. And then on key up which is when we'll stop when stuff will happen. We're going to actually call the table search function. And we're just going to have a placeholder equals name. And that should work. So if we save now and we go back to Chrome, as we can see, we now got a table search. So effectively, now we got a simple input this currently doesn't do anything and just to check to make sure it's working what we're going to do is we're just going to just output some nonsense so let's just do console.log is this working let's just, just for a little bit of fun is this working and let's just refresh it and let's just click um f12 and yeah so as you can see every time we type it will effectively, the, the function will execute, which means that effectively, once I type in it for each character, the function will be, will be used again, and we'll be able to get a better, better search. Okay, let's, let's, let's stop to, let's stop, let's stop faffing about with the console log and actually start writing the actual function. So what we're going to do is, um, we're going to do input, and we're going to make it equal the um, input ID that we just put in here. So what we're going to do is, we're just going to go do input, dot document dot get element by id and we're going to do it by my input so effectively this is the name of the input in html so it's this one here and we're just essentially tying this together now i was going to say there's nothing stop you with just you know effectively just tying you know essentially making this like a parameter but we're just going to make this you know simple for today we're not doing anything special so it'll be all right so we're doing let in input equals that and then we're going to do filter and the reason why I'll be doing this is so that um, it doesn't matter if it's caps lock or not, it will effectively still search. So what we're just all we're gonna do is we're gonna do input dot value dot two upper case and effectively everything will be searched like that. We're gonna do that. Next, we're gonna actually identify the table. So we're gonna do table dot document dot get element by ID. 
And then we're just going to do my table. And I, yeah, I've put all the semicolons. I'm really bad with semicolons. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because it's JavaScript and it usually filters it out. Anyway, so we're going to do table row. Table dot get elements by tag. Yeah, tag name. Table row. So this is, so we're getting all of the information that we need. And this is, this is all we're going to need. So next, the final piece of the puzzle is actually writing a for loop. So just before we begin, we're just going to say initializing variables. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a for loop. So we're just going to make i equals zero. And actually, to be honest, we don't actually really need i. We could just, we could probably just declare it in the thing. There's nothing stopping us. Let's just make it a bit cleaner. Let i equals zero. And it's just, sorry, that's, I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little bit, um, just randomly writing stuff I really shouldn't. Okay. So we're going to let i equals zero. And if i is less than table row dot length, um, we don't need that. And then we're going to do i plus plus. And we're going to open this up. And in this, what we want to do is we want to make td equal tr i dot get elements by tag name. And we're going to do it by td. And and this is okay. So this is this is this is the part that's important. So whatever number you put here will be related to what row that this table is going to be. So for now, I'm just going to put it to zero. So when I put it to zero, um, when I put it to zero, um, it will search through this row. And if it's one, it will search through this. And if it's two, it will search through this. And if it's three, because the third one doesn't exist, it'll probably output an error. So we're just going to leave it. We're just going to, you know, I'll, sh I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. But that's just something that to, to, just to take note of if you're programming this for yourself and you want to make some adjust adjustments. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an if function and we're going to make if TD is actually in the array, if it's, you know, if it's there and it exists, what we're going to do is we're going to do text value, which is a variable that we had earlier, equals TD dot text content. So we're going to get the text content of the table and we're going to do um, TD dot inner text and we're gonna do that and that hopefully shouldn't cause an error let's hope it doesn't uh, so we're gonna yeah uh, this is this is a very good coding practice because i'm not checking but i've done this a couple of times already so it should be all right so we're gonna do text value dot case um to index um uh, wait no, that's wrong dot index of filter Two minus one, and yeah. Let me let me just uh, wait. So dot style dot display. Uh, let's do that. Yep. Yep. Else, and then tr i dot style dot display equals no. Okay, so I should probably explain what I've just written here because I've kind of memorized it and I haven't done a very good explanation. So what we're effectively doing is the filter that we made earlier, which is to two uppercase, effectively we're making it so the uppercase value of inside the table is, is uppercase. So effectively everything is turned to uppercase. If you wanted to be case sensitive, you could just remove, you know, two uppercase and it would be case sensitive, but we just, you know, for most tables, because, you know, you've got names and stuff, you know, not, not everybody's going to be writing case sensitive. So we got that. So what happens is, is if it matches, so if the value matches within the table in the input, um, it will be, re it will remain displayed or the row will be, you know, displayed. But if it's not, it will effectively just be removed and that will be done through CSS. So T T R I and I, which is the index of the row, and then dot style dot display, and that will equal none, and that will effectively erase it. So just to show you that it works, let's go back to Chrome, and we're just going to type in Alfred, and is it why is it not working? Okay, now it's working. Okay, so if we type in Alfred, 
as you can see, it actually filters out, which is pretty great. And we can, let's just do another thing just to prove it wrong. Let's go for laughing Bacchus wine cellars. <laughs> um, laughing. Yes, as you can see, it filters out. Now this solution will work with any, any HTML table data. So as long as the data is in, like it's in HTML and it's being displayed. So for instance, if you're loading it from like a live API, it will work, but you need to make sure this is loaded in. And this will, you know, if you're updating the table on the fly, it will work as well. And um, let me just keep this open up. Um, so as I said earlier, we need to, if you want to change the index and make it, you know, if, you know, let's, let's just change it to contacts. For instance, I want this to search for contact instead. What we could do is we could just change this to one and that will look in a different row. So let's just refresh and check. So now if I type in Helen, it will come up with contact Helen better and it will remove the rest. And if we want to look, are there any duplicate names? No, they're not. This doesn't seem to be. Um, yeah, but this solution will allow you to do table search. And one of the good parts about this is it doesn't use any jQuery or asynchronous functions or anything. So it won't have any problems with compatibility when it comes to some older web browsers, such as Internet Explorer. But apart from that, this is the entire solution. And I was going to say this code's a bit messy, so I'm just going to clean it up quickly. Uh, I think it's clean up now. Yeah. So this is the solution for a simple table search. I hope this video has been helpful. I will be, oh, I don't know why it's duplicating. Oh, that's just an issue of brackets. Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, and obviously the solution for the code will be in the description below as a GIST GitHub post. Um, if you've got any questions, please feel free to just, just message, you know, comment the video. And if you've got any suggestions how I should modify the code, just please tell me. Anyways, it's been Oliver signing out. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you.